EDF doesn't leave its men behind. That's for real. Anyways. Obviously, it's gonna save your shit. Obviously. No. Anyways, whoever does better at the end, more kills, more, don't worry about headshots, but it's about like the kills and the revives and stuff like that. Remember though, remember, no box. No, none of that. Not even monkeys. Do you want to have KRM or RK5? Up to you. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Man, there's a lot on the line. I was practicing yesterday. I made it... I made it to round 37, but you have to sing whatever I want you to sing. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what, Ariano? Let's add this to the deal. You sing every time we play, because this, uh, I have a lot more on the line than you do if we don't do that. It's because mine is permanent and yours is not permanent. So let's make it permanent. That way we both have permanent things on the line. It's not permanent. If I change my username, that's fucking permanent. I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> so yeah, that's the deal now. New deal, okay? Alright, fine, fine. So you sing for us every time. Don't even shoot your gun. I'll warn you now. Don't even shoot your guns that you have right now. That's not part of the deal. We're meleeing round one, and you know it, boy. Same. Okay, okay. All I know... We're taking... We're gonna do this classic VO3 rules, though. Take turns with doors, boy. Yeah. I'll get first door. Do not buy this door. We are not buying this door. Huh? Okay. But we cannot sabotage each other. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Same, I was practicing. I did two rounds yesterday. Did you shoot? Did I hear a shot? You should have told me you were practicing, you bastard. <laughs> I wasn't I, well, I just play it normally sometimes. Hmm. I haven't played this in almost two years. Except for yesterday. So you have an advantage. Uh, kind of, yeah. But then again, you know me. Yeah. I'm not, even though I've been gone for a while, I'm not a player that you can slouch on. Because I've been doing this for like... 13, no, 12 years, 12 years. 2007, so. I mean, 2008, 2008, 12 years. Can you buy that door? That lovely little door right there.
What about Sunday? What? Oh yeah, the Halo Master Chief Collection on Steam, yeah. What about it? We'll not count that against you because we were all, we were in a clusterfuck. Plus we were talking, so. Hold up. Yeah, same with me. I also have something like that. Yeah, it's fine. Huh? Yep. Let's not get that double points yet, or... Yeah, I guess we do. Wait, were you using... Okay. Grab this nuke, obviously, because there's not that many zombies left. Buy this door for me really quickly. I mean, buy the next door for me, my gentleman. This game is already going in my favor. Just by a tad bit. What? Well, I bought the previous door. We're taking turns. It is a fair system. Turn on power for me, would you? I think we should allow perks. What about you? What do you think? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a double points. That's not a RK5. I mean, that is not a Shiva or a pistol. I mean, not a pistol. That's not, not, that's not a Shiva or a KRM. All perks, all drops except Death Machine. How about this? We could use Death Machine if it's to help the other player, like say I'm down. Or say you're down. And we see Death Machine, we could use it. Because we are still team players. This game will count. Because this is the only game we have. Remember, I'm on a time limit. I don't want lucky crit. Not yet. Buy it! The Shiva's not half bad, though. I made it to almost to round 40 with the Shiva and KRM. 100% legit. Um, not really. It's two shots. Yes. The Shiva is not a bad re weapon. Dude, remember, I took the Shiva to round 100 on Revelations. Yes! I went, I was using it from like round 70 to 100. It is not a bad weapon. Oh shit, I did not mean to grab that. Then again, we're using Shiva and KRM that are non pack punched right now, although we will pack punch soon. So it's not like it's that big a deal. Yeah. Or at least I'll pack punch soon. <laughs> Do are, should we allow monkeys? That way we could get the la the third perk. I mean the fifth perk. Oh, yeah. Should we or no? Or for revives. <laughs> if we do get monkeys. But we're probably not going to get that for a long ass time then because we're not going to be hitting the box over and over again. But. That's painful. It hurts. <laughs> it literally physically hurts.
I don't mind. We're yeah. passing by rounds. It's all good. It's all good, man. Nope. It's useless anyways, and you know it. <laughs> Honestly, bro, the KRM pack a punch does more damage than the annihilator. Did you know that? Yes. Even headshots. A point at l okay. Point blank, a KRM pack punch does more damage than a headshot from a annihilator. That's cap. That that wonder weapon is so fucking bad. It's garbage. Ass. Shouldn't exist. I think it only exists because they're like, hey, you know, we should just throw something in. You know, let's just, let's just give them this. You know, we should that. Okay, how about this? I'll say this. It's not bad if you have no ammo. <laughs> no, it actually saved my life a couple times when there's not. Remember, drop spawn less the more you pick them up. It's my turn to open the door, right? And then it's your turn, so let's get Pack Punch open. Yeah. Damn, you have so much more money than me. Oh boy, I can't wait for my personal singer who will sing for me every time we play. Can't wait for that. Right now I have double your kills and half your downs. Excuse you, okay. What about the kills? My turn to open the door, right? Come here, let's get this one done. Ah, I see you getting perks already, huh? Get this door. Alright, start it up. Go ahead, start it. I'll make it. You know I will. I miss days like these. I'm glad you convinced- you finally gave me- cause you know how I love challenges. You gave me the opportunity to come out of retirement. Same dude. Same. I miss playing- like we were pros bro. Yeah. I just remember I was a super sweaty tryhard. But then once I started playing EDF, I realized how to be friendly with other people. But now, I'm back to sweaty tryhard, and it's actually quite fun. Going back to my original ways. I love this Bowie knife. Remember, double tap means literally double damage because your gun fires two bullets instead of one. And and for shotguns, well, it's not like you have that many options in this map, anyways. But if you want to get mule kit, go ahead. Why are you dumb? Or is it because you know that I love stamina up and you know that I'm... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, is it because you know that I'm a god when it comes to stamina up and that automatically makes me win the game? <laughs> you... Do you remember that back in the days I used to pick stamina up instead of juggernaut? Yes. That's because, in my opinion, okay, it's up for debate because it 
It all depends if you have it in the right hands. If you give it to the right hands, stamina up is by far the best perk. If you give it, if you put it in the right hands. If you put it in a noob's hands, it's not gonna do shit. Like honestly. Yes. Don't open that door. Are you talking about the one near the teleporter? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, I'll buy that one for sure. Oh wait, it's not one hit no more. It's time for me to pack this punch. Get it, bro. Honestly. Well, monkeys exist. Haymaker. It's kind of painful to watch that leave me, to be honest. Hurts when you see the Wonder Waff. I saw it. I didn't get it, but I saw it. But just seeing that and knowing that I'm not going to be able to even have a chance of putting my hands on that thing makes me sad. Do I know where what is? Go ahead, go link it. I'm just gonna hit this once just cause the YOLOs. You know El Burro is mule in Spanish, right? What is this? Nothing. Too bad, hoes mad. Rather than too bad, so sad. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm too broke for pack punch right now, too. Well, I'm too broke to pack punch again. What perks are you gonna rock this game? What do you got so far? Uh, Fuck off, Alex. You could hear him calling? Yeah. I love you, but you're fucking annoying. If you watch this video. <laughs> I'm in the game of zombies. And I know you're going to tell him, get out that game. So I already know what you're going to say. So there's no point in me answering. <laughs> you want to camp in the catwalk or nah? Or do you want to train? Up to you. I'm fine with either. Okay, like when we get overwhelmed. I will say this, since we're not using the Dingo or the KN44, getting overwhelmed is going to be a lot quicker than... Remember, the zombies, you don't need... To, if they touch you, you get hit. Unlike the older games where they have an animation, it's pretty much instantaneous as, as soon as they touch you. Hold up. And yes, there's a death machine over there, but even though you want to use it, like for revives, I am a little bit, you know how I am. I'm a little bit too professional for that. Damn, it really wants me to have a death machine though. Cause there's two. God damn it, fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Well, at least you didn't really have anything. Yeah. I could not get you, I'm sorry. Get that death machine since you just... Get it, get it, get it, get it! 
Since you have nothing right now, it's fair. Guard, guard me real quick. Get yourself some points. Let's go. This is not a good place to be. Move. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's an MR6. Well, I guess that you're way behind right now. <gasps> yeah, if you can crawl and get that insta-kill, I'll probably be able to get you. That means crawl. Cover my ass. Oh god. See, at least I'm trying to help you get back, get yourself back together. Not sabotaging, so. But I will say this, it is not looking, the outlook is pretty grim. <laughs> Might be host advantage, but I'm also trying my best to help. So I'm sure that compensates considering I'm not actively trying to sabotage. I, w I haven't, back in my old run when I went to 37, I did not use a single grenade. I was very strict with my rules, but up to you, I'll let you decide. But a grenade won't do you jack shit against the hellhound. kind of not that easy to train these things. But I will say this, I won't recommend it because remember crawlers fuck you over. Man, it's gonna be so nice having a court jester. Yes, I know, you're down, but you're not out. Yeah. Still possible for you to make this comeback. But if you actually, but here's the thing, it's not up to you though. In order for you to make this comeback, I have to mess up, rather than you just do really good. Because the downs count too. This is going to be interesting. I am excited. I'm so glad you made a deal in zombies. But you had the advantage considering that I was retired. Exactly. Nothing's ever lost, but things get rusty. I'm lucky that I did my runs yesterday, though, because my first run was ass. It's always the run where you come back that sucks. But after that, you pick it right back up. Just like we're riding a bike. I'm gonna... Why? Fireworks doesn't give you any points and doesn't count towards your kills. What the hell did you just call him? That's Air Daddy to you. <laughs> well, what are our usual classes in EDF? Pick that up. Go ahead. You have nothing. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm about to pack a punch try to get me some dead wire. When you say catch up, do you mean catch up? by skill as a player or what you step quit standing still you're gonna get fucked wow I got the opposites I got dead wire on my shotgun 
and I got Blast Furnace on my Shiva, even though I wanted it the other way around. Ain't that a bitch. That's fine, though. Did you just pack punch? Okay. Get your ass in here. That makes sense. Maybe it would be better for you to go train, to be honest. Because I'm going to be getting a majority of the kills and points here. Do you think you can last if you do? To be honest though, dying didn't really set you back because you didn't really have much anyways. You had the same thing, it's just that you had perks. So even if I did revive you, it didn't really set you back. I mean, it wouldn't have really helped much, to be honest. Did no, going down set you back, but I'm saying the fact that I wasn't able to revive you. See, this is why I don't get perks unless I'm absolutely sure that I'll be able to make it. This is going to be an interesting game. Who knows, you might be able to make a comeback. It's not going to be easy. I don't play it a whole lot either. Remember, I'm Revelations, Darius and Jack kind of guy. Did you know my highest round on Zetsubo no Shima is higher than my highest round on Dreisendrak? But it took so long, it was abysmal. Because I didn't know how to pack a punch. And I, didn't, I also didn't know how to get the Wonder Weapon, so I was literally just using traps and uh, a Draken. Yes, I finished all the Easter eggs, remember? Otherwise I wouldn't have the RK5. Zetsubo was the worst map I've ever played in any Call of Duty Zombies. Really? Would you say it's better than the all-time greats, such as this map? You know what my favorite map of all time is? Buried. You're three barring. Oh, it's not a one shot headshot no more. Oof. Oh wait, do I have Alex muted still? Here's your Ammo is only 250. Here, I'll give you some assistance. You do have enough to pack a punch. You can get that death machine if you want. Fuck the no death machine roll. I'll give you this handicap. Well, you know what? How about this? To make it fair, since you're not the host, you get to use every power up, but I am host. You could use death machine whenever, because therefore, it's not a handicap, it's just making things even. Sound fair? Go get your gun. Or did you already get it? Good. Not really.
Well, no, I need to get dead wire on my Shiva. I haven't even used the gobble gum yet. I just have one in the reserves just in case of emergency. Blast furnace is really fucking good, dude. It's second best. But then they nerfed it. They nerfed it and then they buffed dead wire. The Man of War is garbage. KN44 is the best. You want me to tell you why? Wall weapon. Hell, I will take a Shiva over a Man of War. On any game. I On a round 100 game, I would take a Shiva over... I would take an Argus. Well, then again, I did bring those to round 100. But still, I would take a Shiva and an Argus with me over a Man of War. Matter of fact, here, I'll say something that might surprise and offend you. I will take a Shiva and an Argus over a Mana War and a Dingo. It's around 100. Yes. And we probably shouldn't train in the same area, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I right, I'ma head out. You could stay there. I'm going here. Now, I will be pack punching though, because you know me, I like my very specific setups. It's not one shot, even with double tap right now. Unless you're really close. But close is death. Are you joking me? I pack a punch the wrong gun, I'm a dumbass. Yes! I wasn't paying attention. God damn it. Fuck. Now I'm sad. Yes. Imagine what you get. Imagine you getting what I spent 20k on. Suck for me. Good for you. Damn, you are getting all the zombies. I really need to get rid of these because the two that I have are the two worst for getting points at least. I feel ever so slightly uh, yes, blast furnace and deadwire and uh, thunder wall, but thunder wall is garbage. I could see why it's garbage. It's really bad. I almost went down twice, but I used my anywhere but here. Uh, now I have in plain sight. How interesting. I can't wait to have you singing whatever. The first song that I'm going to have you sing is going to be really embarrassing if I win. I'm going to pick the most embarrassing song I can. 
It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I have to. It's an ethic. It's part of my ethics policy. You know what my ethics policies are? Non-existent. <laughs> well, no, my ethics policies are follow the damn rules. But other than that, non-existent. Thunderwall is not that bad. I mean, like, it's better. It's the third best, in my opinion, but it's it doesn't match up at all. It doesn't really matter what weapon. It does the same thing on every gun. Remember when turned was the best? At one point in time it was. No, if you're stuck in a turn a corner and you have dead wire then that's good. But turn turn was good for the catwalk strategy and it still is. It just said the catwalk strategy itself isn't that good. But yeah, four players on, with turned on the catwalk. Imagine that. You can't, you can't like argue that that doesn't sound like a great strategy because it was a great strategy. I want my dead wire, and I want it now. Why did I have to get rid of my dead wire? Why was I a dumbass? Why didn't I pay attention? What'd you get? I got fireworks again, dude. Are you joking? Fireworks ain't bad. It's just that it doesn't give you points. Well, no, I need points to get Blast Furnace and to get Deadwire. I was so dumb. Hell, you're close to me in kills. Yeah, things have turned around. You know what's holding you back though? Your downs. A lot. I mean, if you think about it, somebody who only has one down at the end of the game is probably surviving a lot better. <laughs> In way of the competition? We'll calculate that at the end. Personally, I believe that each down should be at least over 100 kills. It's because if you think about it, revives count too as well. We'll calculate it all at the end. We'll figure it all out. But yeah, this competition is actually a lot closer than you thought it would after you went down. Don't you think? Because I did mess up and RNG is fucking my butthole. RNG is giving you everything and it's taking my booty hole. You know like one of those syringes? It's taking my booty hole 
and plunging a syringe up it and sucking my intestines out. No homo. No, I know, and I'm taking what I'm getting as well, but you're getting the goods. <laughs> Yeah, true. Also, I get the death machine and I don't want it. Because <laughs> I'm like the Rosy type guy. Go ahead. Lucky crit ain't bad. God tier gobble gum for speed running through rounds. It just won't always save your ass. Lucky crit. It's a gobble gum that makes like your like your thunder wall or whatever activate like twice as frequently. But the downside is that you can't pop it to save your ass unlike uh unlike in plain sight. Honestly, if I was more confident in my abilities, I would have it. I would try to go for it every round. But I always want. I always prefer to carry like an in plain sight or something just in case. And you can see why, can't you? Thunderwall is actually tearing ass because it's in the right hands. But still, it's not better than Deadwire or Blast Furnace. You see, that's my problem, is that I always like to have the best of everything. Like, when I'm going for like a longevity type strat. So I get really frustrated when I don't, and I get rid of the stuff that I consider bad, even though bad isn't even that bad. So that's my problem, as a player. That's why I say I'm not good at games. Because I always, either I'm the best, or I'm dog shit. And I know I'm not a dog shit player, but that's like the mentality that keeps me competitive. Blast Furnace, I will take that for now. The round just started as well. I'll take this. Hey, since I'm pack punching, do you want to trade, or are you pack punching as well? You want to trade training spots? We'll trade next round. Looking more forward to EDF six than Black Ops five. EDF is my favorite series by far because EDF has not only is it more fun for me, but it has a much better community. Not a larger community, but a better community. Like, didn't you see when you, with the short amount of time that you played with me, and you didn't even play with me that long, did you see how everybody knew who I was the second they joined my lobby? Yeah. Or they even just heard about me. EDF, I actually have a reputation. Call of Duty, there's too many players for me to have a reputation, for one. And two, players don't appreciate each other the same way. Like, for example, somebody can help you with an Easter egg in Black Ops 3 Zombies. And you'll probably play with them for a little bit, but they won't be like, they won't remember you forever. But in EDF, somebody who guides you through the 15,000, no, the 1,500 plus missions, that's not something easy to forget.
Alright, let's trade. Well, yeah, you know what I mean? Now, tell me if I'm wrong, but... 1,500 missions, and for EDF 2025, that was even worse. It's more like a... For EDF 2025, it's even worse. It's like, uh, around 2,000 missions. 2,000 missions is a lot more than five Easter eggs, I'd say. It's more of a bonding experience. Whether that be my way of carrying people through it just by being hella powerful, or that be through strategizing. Run, get out! <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a bad player. I would have died there. Well, it wouldn't have been a bad thing because if we died the, wo the way we are now, I would definitely win. <laughs> it wouldn't even be a calculation. <laughs> If we won right now, I mean, if we died right now, I'd be absolutely satisfied with my court jester. God damn, I spent over 20 grand trying to get dead wire on my thing. Did you see how many times I just pack punch right there? I literally just cycled back to Blast Furnace on my thing. But I already have Blast Furnace on my shotgun. Having two Blast Furnace doesn't really help because there's a cooldown after every time you use it. Lucky Crit reduces the cooldown as well, but still. I'm not using Lucky Crit right now. Fireworks will get you kills. Fireworks will not get you points. Yes. Fireworks also has a significantly longer activation time, I think. I keep getting texts. What's Blaine's ass doing? Sucking cock? Imagine if we waited for him, because there was times when I waited to play with his ass like that, and he did that shit. I love Blaine to death. He's a good friend, but he is a shit player. I want to let you know that you dip the boys, you dip out on the boys a lot. You say that you're going to play, but then you don't show up for a long ass time. I've waited hours for you times, sometimes, bro. So I will say that's fucked up. Blaine. <laughs> Yes, I finally got it after literally like, I think I spent total this game 50 grand to get my setup. Now get the fuck out of here. Why are you still here? Pack a punch at the end of a round. No, we traded. This is my area. We didn't say temporarily. You agreed to trade, and therefore we traded, and it is not temper. I am...
staying here. I am staying here. I am staying here, Ariano. Are, is this a war of attrition to see who will survive here longer? Because I'm down, especially with how the game is. All right then. I was in a corner. Damn, this shit is hard though, considering Uh, Ariano, I'm gonna try to revive you, but... I'm gonna try to revive you, but it's not gonna be easy. If I do, though, this is gonna count heavily against you. This revive will count heavily against you. Because this is a god revive if I do manage to do it. You should be. But I don't think I can get you because I don't have quick revive. At least you have enough money to get your stuff back. Is it because you have to sing for me every time and I'm going to be posting a lot of videos from here on out? Is that why you're sad? What? What? Yes. And you know that you will be playing with me because we have years and years to live, boy. <laughs> really? With Corona going on, huh? What school are you talking about? Mmm. Oh man, look at those kills that I just got there in the dozens, bro. You're go okay. You still have a chance. I bet you really want Street Fighter 351 to become Alex has a big and mighty chungus, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I just want a permanent court jester. I love to get the views, bro. These are gonna be some great views. 116 views is not that many. On Instagram. <laughs> you know it. Really? And you know Jug is in the death spot, too. I know. <laughs> Slide. I know the feeling. Put it this way. You like singing, don't you? Oh, wait. No, it's my songs, not yours. I am so happy though. <laughs> oh shit. Guess who wins? I win. Wait, what? I have more ki I have significantly more kills. I have significantly more revives considering you have zero. What? Yes, and you practice Derisendrak every two weeks, and you said so yourself. And I haven't played in two years. Two years. What? 
What? You're on steroids. That How? I am? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Me having a big dick doesn't mean that I'm on steroids. It just means my balls work extra hard. <laughs> my balls work extra hard. I work my balls every morning before school. Every time I get home from school. Every night before bed. And sometime in between. I win. I right. win. <laughs> That was really fun, and the rest of my life has just got a little bit more joy. Well, it's not suffering. Let's see, what song do I want you to sing for me, huh, boy?